so welcome to this video lecture in this video so i am going to solve this problem so i am calling this problem as problem number 21 so already we did in the chapter 20 problems so this is a 21 problem so let us see what is the 21 problem find the length of tangent comma length of normal comma length of subtangent comma length of subnormal to the curve x is equals to a cos cube theta comma y is equals to a sin cube theta at theta okay means we have to find at the same point so solution so given that are given so these two are parametric equations and this uh, problem has given the curve as curve in parametric form so given that x is equals to a is cos cube theta y is equals to a sin cube theta so and the point is x1 comma y1 is so if we substitute theta here so we get same so the point is a cos cube theta comma a sin cube theta okay right so now find out uh, differentiation dy by dx equals to so here x and y are parametric equation with the parameter theta so dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta which is equals to d by d theta of what is y y is a sin cube theta so d by d theta of what is x? x is a cos cube theta. So which is equals to here we have constant a. So take outside this constant a into d by d theta of sin theta whole cube. I am writing sin cube theta as sin theta whole cube. So here I am taking a outside in the denominator also. So here also I am writing cos cube theta as cos cos theta whole cube. A cancel out equals to d by d theta of sin theta whole cube by d by d theta of cos theta cube. So this is equals to now treat this sin theta as theta d by d theta of theta cube is 3 theta square d by d theta of theta cube is 3 theta square but this is not theta. So that's why we have to take again its differentiation divided by so d by d theta of here also treat this cos as theta d by d theta of theta cube 3 theta square but this is not theta take differentiation again d by d theta of cos theta so here 3 3 get cancelled sin square theta by cos square theta into d by d theta of sin theta is cos theta and d by d theta of cos theta is minus sin theta. One cos, one cos get cancelled, one sin theta, one sin theta get cancelled. So finally we have sin theta in the numerator and cos theta in the denominator. Here we have one minus, just keep here. So this is the dy by dx. So we can write this as minus tan theta sin by cos is tan. So this is dy by dx. m is equals to dy by dx. m means slope. Slope is equals to m is equals to dy by dx at theta. So dy by dx is minus tan theta. So here we have theta only at theta is equal to theta so minus tan theta so slope is minus tan theta next to find out the first length of length of tangent what is length of tangent formula y1 by m into square root of 1 plus m square which is equal to modulus of y1 
phi 1 is a sin cube theta by m is minus tan theta into square root of 1 plus minus tan theta whole square. minus tan theta whole square right so which is equal to so I am writing again the last step a into sin cube theta by minus tan theta square root of 1 plus minus tan theta square more or less close which is equal to a into sin cube theta by so this term is in modulus so we can remove this minus so this uh, tan can be written as sin theta by cos theta into square root of 1 plus minus tan square theta plus tan square theta both are equal so this is tan square theta so here one one sign one sign get cancelled here we have two more signs a into sin square theta in the denominator cos we can write in the numerator cos theta square root of what is this 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta modulus of a into sin square theta cos theta square square root cancel so here the remaining function is sec theta sec means 1 by cos 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 cancel or cos into sec is 1 so a into sin square theta this is a sin square theta ok next find out another length length of normal which is equal to what is the formula y1 into square root of 1 plus m square so which is equal to y1 a into sin cube theta mod square root of 1 plus m is minus tan theta whole square m is minus tan theta modulus of a sin cube theta into square root of 1 plus tan square theta which is equal to a into a into sin cube theta square 1 plus 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta which is equal to 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta here square square root get cancelled so we have this one sec theta so a into sin cube theta into sec theta so this is the length of normal next find out length of sub tangent what is its formula y1 by m which is equal to y1 is a into sin cube theta by minus tan theta which is equal to a into sin cube theta so 1 by tan can be written as cot theta so I am removing this minus because the function is in modulus so which is equal to a into sin cube theta cot means cos theta by sin theta one side one side get cancelled so we will have two more signs here so which is equals to a into sin square theta into cos theta so the last one is length of length of sub normal so formula is y1 into m which is cos y1 into a sin cube theta m is minus tan theta so which is equal to a sin cube theta into tan theta just I am removing this minus because uh, the function is in modulus equals to so completely this inside function is positive function that's why I am removing, removing modulus also sin cube theta into tan theta so this completes the solution of the given problem. If you like this video, subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.